Come on in and get some of this good energy. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is. Bring it on in. This is going to be a general collective message. What that mean? All 12 zodiac sign, masculine, feminine energy. If you are new here, like the video, please, and thank you. And if you're so fair, cause to do so, subscribe to the platform. If you are a returning family tribe member, peace and prosperity. I mean it every time I say it. And every time I say it, I mean it. I truly do. Again, it's going to be a general collective message. I'm going to use my new deck here. It's called the Character Oracle. I really do like this. I love the back of this. I look kind of creepy. Hold on. It's upside down. There we go. <laughs> you see that? It's like a colorful painted face and then the eye on the back of each card. The art is like AI generated, but it's pretty nice, okay? So let's see what the cards want to say. Let's get into this. Okay, let's get into this. Swindler, damn, master of deception, hypocrisy, disguise, conspiracy. You can have some wolf in sheep's clothing coming coming towards you. This could be somebody with intent to swindle, take. They're not intending on giving anything. This is somebody who's very deceptive. Matter of fact, I say master of deception. So this is somebody who's going to be wearing a false mask. This is a swindler. Somebody who's looking to get over or utilize you in some way, shape, or form. Blacksmith, force, melting, shape, tempering. This could be some. Somebody who work in like welding or something like that. Somebody could be some type of builder. Somebody could be a welder. Somebody could work in a weapons business. They may make weapons, okay? But definitely somebody here could do something with their hands. For us, this could be somebody very muscular. Somebody's very strong. Somebody who could be good looking too, okay? This could distract you from the fact that they are fucking swindler. Traveler, this is somebody who moves around a lot. Papa was a rolling stone, eh, 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 eh. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, oh, he died, it was long. This is somebody who spread a fine wife. This person is well traveled. This person may have um, this swindler. This person may travel all over. And when they do, they may have this could be like a womanizer. This could be somebody who's a con artist. You know, one of them little jigaboos. <laughs> somebody who's like a male escort or something. They may look, seek certain type of people out. This person definitely has been to many different countries and places. And they've left a trail of broken hearts because they, they are they are, they are a thief. This master of illusion. This is somebody like one a scammer. It could be a very attractive scammer. This man could be from another country. Okay? Adventurer. This is a very adventurous person. They like to have fun. Experience. This person has a lot of experience in doing this. Whatever they've doing. Excuse me, have they been have alone they've been doing this? You know, they've gotten good at it. Okay, somebody could have been doing it a long time, somebody could have been doing it for a short time, but it's a long journey. Somebody could have been doing this a long time. So this could be like a male gigolo, baby. Somebody could be coming towards you to swindle you. Okay, this person may come off as, oh, I got this, I got that, whatever the case may be, elder, wisdom, wisdom bearer. So I'll tell you somebody who's smart, experienced somebody again. Experience came out twice. This is somebody with a lot of experience in whatever they're doing. Not whatever they're doing. Whatever this jigaboo shit is, whatever they do to get over on people, this swindler, um, this a con artist, an opportunist, someone who's out for oneself. Tradition, kindness, health. Okay? This person may have a lot of knowledge about health, um, the the physical, the human anatomy, okay. This person may come off as very kind. They may seem very traditional, okay? That's two cards. Oh, I'm going to keep them. It's a reader, um, seeker of knowledge, knowledge pursuer, 
explorer of information. This could be someone who um, could be a teacher, okay? Or maybe at one point in their life, in their life, they was a teacher, writer, weaver of tales, storyteller, crafty, okay? Communication, polishing. Polishing, this is somebody who lie, okay? Whoever this person is, they lie a lot. Whoever this swindler is. Some of y'all, this could be a reader. Literally like a terror reader, a mask and a terror reader. They're a swindler, okay? This person tells fairy tales, baby. They lie. They, they're con artists, again. Somebody who could be, uh, again, nice looking, muscular. They may take good care of themselves. There's somebody who's wise. They're smart. This could be a person who actually reads a lot of books. Or maybe they had like a teaching job before. Or this is just somebody, who, again, who likes to educate themselves. So this could be somebody who likes to read, write, they journal. I feel like because they practice what they're doing. They practice being this little jigaboo, this little gigolo, okay? Jigaboo is gigolo, y'all. So this this little gigolo, this male gigolo, they good at this, okay? They they good at it, boss. It's, it's, it has brought them a lot of wealth. They may go after, you know, older single women. It's a master of wealth, risk, investment, management leader. This person may, uh, whoever this opportunity is, this swindler, this con artist, they may come off as a businessman. They may get people to invest in them. Then they disappear. You see, he packed light. He only got one little bag, one little shoulder bag, probably something, maybe a laptop or something like that, maybe their passport or whatever the case may be. And this is like a minimum of clothes because wherever they go, I feel like they get people to take care of them. Oh, this is a male gigolo. What the hell I done picked up on? This is a male gigolo here, y'all. I'm not playing. This is somebody who be swinging at wanger, okay? They, they are manipulators too. They very deceptive. Master. Listen, master deception. Lost soul. Ooh, this is a lost soul. Seeker of clarity. Wanderer. Look, more of a traveler. Wanderer, traveler. Same thing. Confusion, defeat, struggle. This is somebody who has a lot of inner demons. This is a lost soul, but they're good at swindling. They're good at getting people up out of money. They're good at getting people to do whatever they want them to do. Okay, this is a master manipulator. Knight. Keeper of honor, armor, battle, loyalty, okay? This is someone who, again, battling a lot of inner demons. This person may come off as, you know, compassion and, you know, um, loving, caring, okay? They, they get people to melt, literally, like, fall into their hands. This woman has a smart. This could be a narcissist, okay? And this could be a covert narcissist, okay? If you're not familiar with that, I've, I have survived narcissistic, narcissistic abuse in a relationship. Very proud of that. One day I may have a live and talk about that experience that I had. Maybe it may help someone and tell you how I got up and moved on with my life. But this is a person who's a covert, uh, a covert I cannot say it. A fucking narcissist, okay? A covert narcissist. This is somebody who comes off as very uh, personable. Somebody who has uh, good mannerism, kind. I don't know why I'm getting this person. could be a southerner. I don't know why. Somebody could be a southerner, okay? Come off as very hospitable, okay? But they're not. They're a swindler. You going back out the door? Yeah. God damn. My bad, y'all. That's my son. Lover. Love, romance, reproduction, infinity. This is somebody who <laughs> I told y'all they got a trail of fucking lover. This a playboy. Somebody who's definite. Somebody who knows women and uses it to their ability, baby. This is somebody who is a rom hopeless romantic. Somebody could be uh, a foreigner. Somebody could be a, like Spanish, Latino. Somebody could be somebody could be fine as hell too. Somebody could take good care of themselves. Somebody could be like stay in a gym all the time. Somebody may work a job where they use their hands. Okay, whatever the case may be. This person could be well educated. They could be really smart. They read a lot. They could write a lot. Whatever this person do now, they could be, they can come out or tell people they're an entrepreneur. They may do something like investment, finance, financial investment, something like that. They'll teach people about literacy when it comes to finance. This could be someone who who have probably a lot of time in many different states, maybe even countries, ran like a Ponzi scheme. They go into the place acting like a businessman, you know. To gain wealth, get people to invest in what they're doing, and then they disappear on these people. It's also going to be someone who looks stranger. 
whoever whoever they get involved with, they never really know this person. This person, this person, they work fast. Whoever the swindle is, they work fast. This gigolo, they work fast, baby. They get in and out. Okay, they get they get a hold of people. Okay, e even if it be man to just invest in their business, they could tell them like, hey, I can grow your money. They very tr they got like this trustworthy face, or they come off as very trustworthy. Like you, whatever energy they put over you with their word, when, you know, when you speak words, you spell them. Whatever they tell people, it's, it 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 gets them to fall like putty in this in this man's hand. This man get masked to invest in like fake business, Ponzi schemes, and they get a lot of lovers. Someone who, again, is very attractive someone who dates a lot of people again someone who has left a trail of heartbreak somebody who has left a trail of heartbreak behind them we only get one more row spiritual seeker devotee of the inner devotee of the inner path meditation insight practice they may look for spiritual people this could be somebody who like chosen people, spiritual people. They may like divine feminine women, okay? They may even look for divine feminine masculines to get them to invest in their business because they play on their emotional side. Oh, this is a jigaboo gigolo. <laughs> father. This is somebody who's a father. So they may have children, family, patriarch, guardian, paternal authority, ancestral passage. This could be someone who's a father. They may have children. They may have their own family. Okay, this person may literally, if they are already with someone, they can be in a, a commitment or relationship or marriage with someone. They partner may think they travel a lot for work, but they travel a lot to keep up with all these other lovers. And somebody got multiple different lives. What the fuck? Somebody got multiple lives, y'all, that they, they, they live. Somebody, hey, somebody is a jigaboo. Somebody a jiggalo. And they spread it wide and thin, baby. They 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 give it out. And this is somebody who's attractive, very attractive. Okay, some type of con, a, a swindler. They have a, he has a mask on this in his car, this first car, because he never really let his fat, let his uh, left hand know what his right hand do. So people never really get a chance to get into his business or really get a chance to investigate or know him or know anything about him because before they know it, he been a sweet talk them into doing what he want them to do. Young, we have vitality, innovation, potential, and growth. This is someone who could, again, who could look very youthful. I'm telling you, somebody could be very handsome, very, very attractive. And that could fool that, you know, believe it or not, a man could be heterosexual. It's like something about if a man, you see a man who's built and fit, they like, man, this person care about themselves. They take care of themselves. Maybe he could help me change my life. So he know how to work with both sexes. You know, it's, it's like he know how to appeal to both sexes okay and not in like a homosexual way like this man is very smart yeah he's smart captain navigator of destiny voice leadership decision making objective somebody look <laughs> jack sparrow this person is a con artist okay they are very good at getting navigating people they're very good at changing people's destiny they're very good at getting people to invest in them whether it be a love relationship or monetary wise there's an opportunities i said opportunities there's an opportunist some type of jigaboo gigolo running around here and they got a passport and they use it so this is like a passport bro who leave a trail of heartbreak and disaster community they change places often this person doesn't say st like doesn't stay settled in one place for too long okay they don't stay one place too long they pick up and leave okay whatever excuse they gotta make they pick up and leave mm. we got gang it's a brotherhood of shadows underworld transactions violence criminality this could be someone who has a, a ulterior side this person may have a um a split personality. There's a dark side of this person. When they get into some shit, nobody knows this about this person, okay? This player. Look, there you go. I was waiting for that. I thought it was going to come out right here, but this is a player. This is some type of jigaboo jigaloo here. They may look just like this. Somebody here definitely could be like um, Spanish, Latino roots. Somebody could be Italian. I'm just getting you like the passion. And somebody could be Russian, German, hell. Somebody could be British. English, pretty much the same. 
Yeah, but somebody's very dapper in there. Somebody's smart, okay? It's a clergy. Um, gardens of faith, religion, morality, compassion, sacred mission. This could be someone who's come, who comes off as spiritual, spiritual for some reason to people. Educator, part a mentor, guide, teacher. This person's smart. He may be like um some of y'all. He may have a business where he like some type of mentor, some public speaker, some person. Uh, uh one of them incurs like life coach, some shit like that. Whoever this man is. <laughs> Painter, engineer, he could be into art. He could be into mechanics. Hell, he could have been. He could be a mechanic for real, for real. But he come off as Rico Suave to other people. Lord, what's this man? What what you got going on, sir? What you got going on, sir? What what do you got going on, sir? Kind sir. <laughs> uh, -uh. give me swindler. Okay, right out. Sweetheart. Ooh, I'll tell you, he like, he like, he like divine feminine. He like sweet, nurturing, caring women. It's something about that. <laughs> it's something about nurturing, caring women. Look, he sleep good at night after he do this, okay? Blacksmith. Withdrawal, okay? This person could be retired, okay, for some of y'all. Gang, on top of traveler. This person is a uh, someone who likes to gain, okay? They don't like to give. They like to gain. So this person is, is a receiver, not a giver, okay? Elder, adventure. Again, this is somebody who travels a lot, okay? This person may be into... This person may be muscular. They may be into, like, um, mountain climbing, hiking, all type of adventurous, risk-taking, and risky type of behaviors and things, okay? Reader, we got stubborn. This somebody who too smart for their own good. Have you ever heard that? Smart dummy. You ever heard that term before? Smart dummy. You heard it here then. Okay. This person is a smart dummy. Okay. Writer, we have daydream. Okay. That's all this person think about is scamming people. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Boss, imagination. This person is very creative. This crafty little fucker here. This, this here, opportunists, yes, they are. They're very crafty. Lost soul, origin, origin. This person don't know who they are, okay? This person don't wear a mask for so long, they don't know who they are. Um, knight, keeper of honor, armor, battle, loyalty. It came, gift came out reverse. So if this person has any gifts, okay, or this charm, whatever not, some of y'all, they could be losing this charm, this gift. On top of lover, we got two cards. We have real estate and self-love. They get people to fall in love with them, take care of them. Self-love is when you take care of yourself. I feel like it's the opposite with this self-love. They get people to invest and take care of them. This person may have property, a lot of property all over the place. They get people to, they really get people to invest in them. They scam them, then they disappear. They don't stay too long. They don't give a person a chance to get into their business. They don't get a person a chance to do a background check, get anything up in their, get up in their business any way, shape, or form, but they get all up in their business. They get people to invest in them, give them things. Crafty person. Spiritual seeker protest. This person don't believe in spirituality, but they may talk about it. They may come off as somebody who, who uh, you know, uh, or spiritual or religious, some way, shape, form. I feel like it's only to pull in, like, divine, divine feminine. This person may have mama issues. They may, like, very nurturing women who, like, mother figures, okay? Somebody can also have issues with their father with the disturbance right here. Somebody can have some type of negative attachment or some type of trauma they need to hear from their father, their mother, Okay, reservation, something that they keep putting on hold. What you do when you reserve something? You put it on hold, right? This person is putting on hold, healing some type of attachment that they have to either like a mother figure, a negative one at that. It could be like um, a curse of hex in their bloodline when it comes to masculines, having healthy relationships, something like that. Okay, young, we got natural desires. This person is about to experience some type of, you know, sudden change. I feel like it's going to be for their own good, Captain. Oh, commitment. This person could be going to jail for some of y'all for scamming somebody. Somebody here may have caught on to their ass and, and got a chance to look into them and see they got a trail of, of trouble, okay? This gang, we have eternal love. Mm. This is someone who has a dark side. They don't believe in love. That's why they like this. Give me one more on this eternal love. The gang. Fate. And fate came out in reverse. Okay, this person don't believe in fate. They don't believe in love. That's why they like, that's why they, uh, the way they are. Endorsement. 
persuasion, bribe, temptation. This person is a big ass temptation. They bribe people. This a con artist, okay? Stop, okay? And they won't stop neither. This coach, okay? They could come off as somebody who's helpful, introvert. This person is very private. Readiness. Stay on go. That's what I'm getting with that. This person stay ready. Somebody here may have a negative sleep pattern. They may have a lot of bad dreams. Okay, they have a lot of dark energy attached to them. Somebody here is a um, a workaholic, and I feel like um an overachiever. They want to look a certain way. This person is really into the material world. So they want to look a certain way to people, so they can't invest in them. <clears throat> Why would you invest in somebody who's saying they got a million dollar company? Could be showing you some fake paper, some fake paperwork if they not driving or looking the part. So this person may rent a lot of cars. We have reservation of it with the rented car. Somebody may rent a lot of cars. Again, somebody may be very reserved. They may keep things very private. So this is a very private person. This is a person who brings ending. They bring endings with them. Trouble, drama, okay? Friendship. They come off as very friendly, merit making. This is somebody donating. They get people to invest in them. I'm telling you. Compromise. This is somebody who don't know nothing about compromise. They blindside people, okay? With the things they do, they blindside people. This shapeshifter here, calm, illness, loyalty, okay? This person may have some type of mental issue. When I got calm, still, I'm thinking, I, I, I initially thought, like, like uh, right away thought about the mind. That's the first thing that popped in my head was the mind. Somebody here may have some type of mental issue, mental illness, okay? That they refuse to look at or heal, that's why they act like this. Loyal alliance, you know, live and learn. Something could happen with this person when they was younger, the childhood, okay? Definitely somebody could have like a father wound or a mother wound. Somebody could have lost their parents young. Somebody could have experienced homelessness young. Somebody could have could uh could have been raised in foster care, you know, home to home, place to place, whatever the case may be. This person has never really been able to experience like a happy family with care here. Okay, they really could have lost their parents. Uh, maybe their mother or their father when they was younger, it could have left some type of wound, savings, this apart this someone who got money all over everywhere too. They may have offshore accounts. They also may be hooked up in the justice system. Somebody who's smart, they play chess, not checkers, okay? A, they come in as a helping hand, okay? They get to know people, memories. They get people to divorce their secrets. And then, look, they, they conquer, triumph. They win. They get what they want. They're scared right now about something, though. Ooh, that's what they scared about. <laughs> Evidence and confinement. They scared that somebody's going to, that somebody done figured them out. They scared, uh, you know, somebody they done made a false promise to, and they could have took a large amount of money from They could have got somebody money, retirement, or something like that. They could have tricked somebody about it. This person could have started looking into it. This person could have reported this to the authorities about this prideful person. Yeah. Somebody here could be worried about going to jail. They could be worried about getting locked up. There could be a paper trail. Somebody may have had somebody may have receipts on what this mask and this jigaboo gigolo done did to them. Definitely here. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> this player, whoever this player is, somebody, somebody that they mess with, clergy, somebody spiritual. So one of these divine feminists or one of these masculines that reported this man. This man goes at the jail for these fake promises. You know, this is another person too who could have been engaged to a lot of people. But they literally may have like a, a main person. They may have a family. They could tell their their wife or their yeah, their wife, um, you know, that they or hey, I often say their husband, hey, hey take away resonate these days. But whoever their partner is, they have a family already home. They could tell their partner that they travel for work. And see, they have money, property, this and that. Whatever they told this person they do for work, they believe it because they pay the bill. This could be like a stay at home wife, stay at home mother. Okay, that's why she don't get a chance to get up in this man's business or question him because he's always traveling. But this was this is what he doing when he's traveling. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let's get a couple of these what's the tea. That's crazy, y'all. For real, for real. That is crazy. Somebody got a double, triple, shit, quadruple life. Quintuplets, okay? That's eight, I think. Somebody got a lot of different lives. Somebody got properties. In different places, and whoever this partner is, if this person is married, they got multiple identities. They can have stuff in different names in different states, different countries. 
Listen, I'm getting like some espionage spy type of shit going on. This is a this is a serious jigaboo. Jigaboo jigaboo. They serious about their money. They serious about their swindling. They serious about this opportunity shit. They done made this a way of life. Somebody has somebody living good off swindling other people. Mm-mm. I just want y'all to see this first card came out. Then I said they get people to give them money. What they say? Giving money. They get people to invest in them. They definitely do. They get people to invest in them 100%. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. This is somebody who crazy. This is somebody who could have had to block somebody too. Somebody that they made a false promise to, somebody that they could have took a large amount of money from, somebody who they try to play, somebody could have been like, nah, I ain't going out like that. No facts, never has the facts, make shit up lies. This is somebody who's a liar. This person could present all type of paperwork, business paperwork and shit like that. They may have like a number. This person is a scammer, scammer, whoever this is, right? And they serious about what they do. They're very serious about what they do. Too busy winning. Look now. They very serious about what they do. This is somebody who's been who's been able to win at the game of cheating in life. Moving. This person who moves often. I'll tell you, they don't stay planted one place too soon. Okay? And how they keep up with all these people, I don't know. You know, it's say force or forces things on you, forces their way in, use a force to get what they want. They may have um receipts on these people some of these people probably married who like mess with him who be desperate looking for somebody you know how women you know there are some women who got money oh, they don't mind no they don't mind no mind of paying a man to be with them could be a younger man a younger attractive man you know he have a lot of different people some of these people he is supposed to be in a relationship with, but I feel like he, he actually does have a whole family at home. Somebody that he's committed to, possibly even married to while he go out and do this. I'm trying to see if he ain't got no receipts on people to keep them, uh, you know, and then maybe he do. You know, some people look gigolo. Maybe he do mess with married people or people who are in a relationship who are looking to have fun for a night or two. Okay? This could be him having receipts on people, blackmailing them, or this could be somebody who he messed over, made a false promise to, like he was going to be with them. They could have receipts on him. They could be blackmailing him or about to try to blackmail him. But I feel like this is just this is the scales being balanced. Mm. So I saw somebody who has bad habits. So this person may do drugs. To the little cocaina, you know what I'm saying? Hit a little Mary Jane, pop a little shroom, shit, okay? Alcohol, whatever, not ignore him. Somebody that this man swindled, they ain't they ain't taking this land down. They ain't like the rest of these people. They 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 trying to find out what the fuck is really going on with this masculine. Okay? Whoever this man is, same shit, different day. They've been doing the same stuff for a long time. Whoever this last person is that they got over on, they are definitely travel. I'm telling you, somebody travel and they pack light. This person may take one little suitcase. They don't. They may have clothes and other places where they go. They may. They definitely have a lot of different places they can go lay their head. When they go somewhere and stay for a while, trust me, they got somebody there for them. Ego. Her ego getting in the way of the relationship. This is somebody with a huge ego. And they don't understand that they're hurting their partner at home too. Because they may spend more time out of the home than in the home. It's a car list in reverse. So this is a person who may have multiple vehicles. Different license plates. Different states. Different homes. This person got different relationships. This person got different identities. This is crazy. Love triangle. Um, looking you up, doing research, love on the brain, creeping, reflecting, and unfazed. This person don't even think twice about when they when they mess up with people. It's not a person who reflects. It's a person who don't care. They don't mind being in a love triangle. They don't mind dating married women. They would deal with them. This person could be someone too, uh, who also deals with both sexes. Okay, they could have a. a insatiable appetite when it comes to sex you know and, and back in the day they used to say something like a call like a white liver where you like to hump all the time whoever this person is this jigaboo yeah they i don't know i don't know what's up with them but this could definitely stem from some type of like father or mother wound they could have lost their parents at one of their parents or both of their parents at a young age 
This person could also be abusive. Okay, this this is what people don't see about them initially. Somebody could be like a boxer. They may like to fight or they might like to whoop on people's shit, okay? Person can have a lot of tattoos. I really feel like this person could be very attractive. Somebody who's muscular. They may go to the gym. They may take good take good care of themselves and smell good. It is something about when a man smells good. But this person here, when they go to us people, somebody think they finna get the whole package not knowing they messing with a whole little fucking demon, Okay? This man ain't right. He's dark. He's a user. Some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, like I said, this person could be abusive. They may literally be the type of person to go upside somebody's head. Like, this person don't have no problem, you know, laying hands on you. They they get their way. Either you're going to voluntarily give it to them or they're going to take it forcefully. So this could be somebody who has took things from people too. But there's something that they did to someone here in this bunch of people that they have been dealing with. That it's not going to take what they done to them laying down. Because they, they could have took a substantial amount of money from this person. They could have got somebody to write a check for them. They could have told them that the check, the investment was going to go towards something to help them. Or they was going to build some type of real estate. We did see real estate over there. So they could have thought they was going to build a house or something or invest in something. This person could have like a real estate business. Whoever the scammer, they may, they may come off as a person who got a real estate business. They may have false documentation, false paperwork showing that they have a certain license or they may have a number you can call. It's just all a fucking scam. It's a Ponzi scheme. So if it's a Ponzi scheme, there's other people that know about this who's been who benefit from these people too, from getting money from people. So, uh, saving here is also giving me like retirement fund. They may go towards elderly people, more elderly women, older women, like I said, who divorce husband could have left them money. Look now, there's some shit here. Whoever this person is, though, they finna go to trouble. I said they finna go to trouble. They gonna go to jail. Why? Because the justice system came out there in triumph. Over here, we have confinement and evidence. So, this person could be under investigation. This is a low profile person though. This is not a person who's like well known. They keep a very low profile. When I tell you that this masculine changes clothes, identities, you know, saying this man may uh change his hair. Like it's just like all these people know a different person, a different name, a different version. This person is like the master of master of all uh, what is, I'm looking for a word. This this person is a maestro. He's a master, okay? Where that, you know, that mass car with all them different faces, somebody definitely may show up to everybody that they deal with in a different version of them, a different face. They don't even look the same. Is it that serious to keep up something like this? Yeah, because they, they get a lot from it. They get a lot of material gain from it. Whatever this is that they're doing. Not whatever. You know what it is. They pimping. They are like somebody's like a, a, a jigaboo, a gigolo. They're coming out as an opportunist. They're a swindler. They come off as a business person. A, a, literally, somebody could somebody could portray themselves to have a real estate business. And that's how they can get people to invest in them. Tell people they, they can show people uh, properties that they may even take from. This person could be so meticulous okay that they may go to certain sites where they see homes being built in there and you know just be like yeah this is a new site being built we can't go over there yet type of stuff like this person is a habitual liar they they tell lies on a grand scale like this person is really an opportunity this is a this is a true con artist a scammer 33 33 they done really scammed a lot of people, but somebody here finna send their ass to jail because somebody got some proof for them. Hell, some of y'all, you could have been swindled by this person. Because this could, I feel like this is a regular person. When I say a mechanic, this could be like a mechanic, but this person is smart. They read a lot of books. They educate themselves. This person then then did some research on how to scam people or whatever, you know, however they started this scam, this jigaboo shit, this traveling Passport bro, passport bro type of thing. Whatever they, however they started this, I feel like it's self taught. This someone who wanted fame, luxury, and instead of them going to master their self, 
They said, fuck it, I'll take it from other people. And that's exactly what they do. Because they, they don't get over on just old women. They get over on men, too. They, they play on men who could be much older, too, uh, single, possibly. Somebody who's looking to think they finna turn something around with their life. Or maybe somebody who could go through, be, could be going through like a midlife crisis and meet this man. But he's very smart, very crafty. I feel like everybody that he approach, he watch. He, he like... Um, you know how cheaters used to watch people and take notes and shit and then get their schedule before they come back and tell the person that hired them, yeah, on this day we caught him doing such and such, such and such. So this person could literally scope out, like watch people before he actually come in. Could bump into them in, mo in like inconspicuous ways, uh, grocery store, stuff like that. But it's definitely somebody, it's like a spy movie. Somebody who, all this for money. All this for money, all this for wealth, all this for money, right here. And whoever they got, the last person that they got actually to write them a check, they messed up because this person is finna send them up the river. They is not going without a fight. Somebody could have wiped out somebody's whole savings account. Literally. Whoever the last person that this man scammed, he could have wiped out their whole savings account. And they like, hell no, I worked for that. They ain't wrong. Ooh -wee. I don't know who this message is for, but this is your message. Keep your faith, how you feel, low, find peace within. Laters.